dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's sound shapes. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Today is the 20th, and we're taking a look at the downloadable game, Sound Shapes. That's right, and this game is for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. Uh, it came out in 2012. It was designed by Jonathan Mack and Shahan Liam, and it was developed by Queasy... What is it? Yeah, Queasy, Queasy Games, Games and Santa Monica Studios. And SC, yeah, SC, SCE Santa Monica Studios. Um, this game is... There's no real plot to it, so this part of my review is kind of going to be a little odd because there's no plot. Um, but basically, you're this little egg-looking thing, you know, like yolk. You got like a yolk, and then you got these like little flanges around you, and you kind of move it around, and you have to catch these things that make sounds and create like an entire song as you move through the level. Um, but sometimes it breaks up, so it doesn't really make any sense. Um, but basically, it's just a platformer, and it's a little puzzler, I guess. But it was nothing. Well, I guess I'm not going to give you my opinion just yet. I'll throw it to you. Okay. Well, the reason I wanted to, to play this, and I actually did go out and get it and download it. It's on sale right now on the PSN Network, um, or PlayStation Network. And um, it was on, like, people's top ten lists. Like, more than three times I saw it on there. Like, you know, best, you know, must-have PSN downloadables and all that stuff. And I love sound. You know, I'm a sound designer um, by trade, even. And I, I enjoy that part of it. I love the music that goes with it. You know, Beck has a part in it and stuff. And there's a lot of, like, you know, indie industrial kind of stuff on the edges as well. But there's also downloadable stuff. There's, like, an editor where you can make your own songs, which are levels, you know, kind of thing. And um, so it seemed like, okay, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. It's so highly endorsed. Let's check it out. Um, I did have fun. But it's more of the kind of like a pleasant playthrough palletizer that was never any semblance of challenging. Yes. So so I, I'm disappointed that it was never a challenge. I went through all the levels really quickly. Um, there was only one that I missed one note. And Me it was too. just because I couldn't see it or something. I don't know yeah. why I missed it. I got all the other ones. And I didn't even have to really backtrack for anything. It's just so easy to do it. So I guess the game design is nice that it's so easy and fluid and you just go from one end to the next. But yeah, I mean, you unlock these notes that change the rhythm or add to the rhythm uh, or the song in, in these scenes. But as soon as you're out of the scene, it kind of resets. So it's kind of like, okay, well, I just got four notes. And before I could even hear them all once, I'm already out of there. Yeah. So, so yes, again, it's a, kind of a fun, pleasant palletizer. And it doesn't seem like you're going to disagree with me at all. Um, but it's not challenging at all, but it's still kind of fun. Yeah. I, I don't know. For seven bucks, what do you think for seven bucks? Uh, I think, I think this game is designed specifically for the level maker, which they have. I think that you're supposed to, the most fun you're supposed to have is creating your own levels, creating the music in the levels, and then, you know, having your friends surprisingly complex. Yes. It really does. I mean, yes. it, it's fun and it, it is simple. I mean, but there's so much when you unlock, there's like 10 different things you know, things of monster, you know, robots or whatever, interactions and 10 other notes and right. all, all this stuff. And there's downloadable um, extra notes. Like I did actually buy the the 8-bit, um, and I was actually thinking that it was levels, but it's just sounds that I can now use in the editor, but it's only 49 cents. So that's not a big deal. It's not a huge investment, but it was kind of irksome. Right. Because it said, you know, five something or other, and I thought that meant five levels. So anyway, um... Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I, I, as far as as far as, I guess what I want to say is as far as the campaign goes, I think the most fun I had was with the last levels, the Beck levels, and I think there's only three of them. Um, no, 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 there's four of everything. I'm pretty sure. No, anyway. no, I think it was only three of the Becks. But um, in any in any case, those were the there was the, those were the most fun levels that I had um, to play through. But again, it was really easy. It didn't take me a lot of time. I think most of it was that one that I missed. I just kept on restarting the level to try and find it, but I really couldn't find it, you know, because I missed. The, I must have missed the same one that you no, did. I don't think so. Mine was pretty, pretty well into it because I was, was. I was really surprised that I got them every time. Right, know? right. Mine was like right in the middle of the of the whole campaign, so I don't know. I forgot which level it was, but just one I missed, and it's I'm like, funny oh, that you say the Beck is your favorite. My yeah. my favorite is actually the I forget what it is, but the little robots and stuff, the more like executive kind of. Thing. Oh, the, the second level. For some reason, I, I enjoy that. 
as well, you know, better. Yeah, um, okay. Anyway, yeah, it is fun, and, you know, you can download other people's levels, and so there is some replayability. I wouldn't say replayability. I would say added playability. Right. Because I don't really feel compelled to replay the other games, and I guess I can understand somebody being really into this because it's so different in, like, indie as far as, like, gathering notes. But the simple mechanic platformer of it is nothing new, and it's actually quite kind of repetitive tedious. and easy. Yeah. I wouldn't say tedious. I it's think it's tedious. It's not tedious at all, because I was through every level in less than five minutes. Guaranteed. Every okay. level. It was so easy, and it was just like, ah. So I, tedious is when you're like, oh, crap, died. Oh, crap, died. Oh, crap, died. Right. I never had that. But, I mean, yeah, just the difference of, of wording and yeah, yeah. When definition. I, when I say tedious, it was, I mean, it was just so easy that I wasn't really paying attention. It was just kind of doing stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's sad because I, I really kind of was uh, looking forward to this game. And, again, it was on sale right now. And it's kind of, you know, kind of a different feel. Or, you know, it's got the the cutout kind of feel, you know, very yeah. colorful. Well, at times. Yes. And it uses color, you know, red is death, red bad. Red know, is always bad, except for that one level where there's different shades of red. Yeah, it's like red. a negative of thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, with the one with magenta and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so there is definitely a unique thing there. I just think it's like, hey, you know, that was a great effort. Do better next time. Yes. That, 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 I'm, you know, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I just think it is a great first effort. Yes. And I think there obviously could be something great. It just needs to be in challenging or... You know, we need to spend more time in the levels doing something. Of course, I don't want them to just make it super uber hard or just, you know, I don't know, just just uh, arbitrarily, you know, adjust something and then expect us to enjoy that. It's just, it needs to be a little bit longer or a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more challenging. And because um, I, yeah, again, I, there are parts that I love that are really fun. And you find yourself, you know, working with the beat a little bit. And yeah. That's kind of fun, especially in like the I think it is the back level with like the squid things. Yes. So you have to like get in the middle and it rotates around or whatever. I was, I was definitely tapping my foot while playing this game. Yeah. So so that's not bad. It's just the brevity of it and this it's so easy. It's so easy. Yeah. And I, I was actually almost hoping that you had a little bit more of a difficult time, just because that would add a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, credibility to this game. I just thought maybe I just got lucky or something. No, I was but I was stuck so looking easy. for that one that I missed, and I have no idea where it is. Yeah, I literally restarted the level and it was fine. So I must have just missed it because it blended in because I'm partially colorblind. So it's like a light blue and a light blue black. Oh, you ended something. up finding it? I still oh, yeah, find, no problem. I couldn't find it. I, I went through two or three times. And You're then trying like, way too hard because it's literally just right there. Okay, then I was like, well, whatever, and, and I if, just moved if on. It's, if it's even close to the same one. And it, yeah. that's all it is is like... Usually you have kind of this area to this area, and maybe you have to do this. Yeah, or to get all sometimes the uh, that where but, you go um, off the screen. It, and it's so game. simple. So again, I don't want to discourage anybody that was like excited about this game or wants to try it, especially for seven bucks. Um, you know, it, it could be a miss for you, but it yeah. could also be a hit. I just don't see anybody being like, "This is an amazing game. I play it every day." I I can't see that. I, I think I think that if you like. And I think that if you've always wanted to kind of create your own music, you know, just kind of that, I think the level editor would be fun for you. I think that, you know, creating the level to match a song that you're making while you're playing the game or while you're creating this level, I think that that would be the most There fun. are a lot of free, like, iPhone apps and iPad apps that you play with music yeah. and and making notes and stuff and when i'm thinking of you draw lines it's like I, I don't remember what it's called but you bounce little balls and it hits these things and depending on how how low they are and how long they are they make different tones so that that's really fun and that is a little bit more engaging and it doesn't doesn't try to make you think that it's a full-fledged game it's right. just kind of like this cool thing on your iphone right so so again i don't want to discourage these guys uh because it is a totally cool idea and obviously they got, you know, Beck and other people involved. I can't remember any of the other ones. Uh, there right was, I, I have them all written down. There's Beck, there's Dead Maw 5 or Dead Mouse, uh, depending on how you want to say it. Uh, Mouse, Jim, yeah, okay. Jim Guthrie, uh, Jonathan Mack, and then Shaw Han Liam, and those are the only contributors. Yeah, Dead Mouse actually, my wife recognized, so. Oh, okay. Anyway. With the big ear things. Yeah. And you can use those, you know, in building your level yeah. kind of thing. So that's kind of fun. Let's just see where it goes. Yeah. So I again I can't believe it's on so many top ten lists. I really yeah, can't. Yeah, I don't understand that. It's uh, fun. It, it is. It's fun. It's kind of like a uh, soothing, you know, kind of thing. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's like okay, I played that. Let me go back to Skyrim. 
<laughs> All right, guys, uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art, print, shorts, stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will chat with you. And we're both blogging as well. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing bits of my world that I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, and I pretty much just have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you later. Coming up next time, it's Dungeon Roll. On today's dual review, it's Sounds Out, Sounds Shave, Shave, Shave. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Oh. Sounds Out, Sounds Out, Shave, Shave. On today's dual review, it's the vid video game. Video. Straight to video. <laughs> I don't think people really understand that. Well, no, I guess they still do. Straight to DVD. Hmm. On today's dual review, it's Sound Shapes. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Sound Shapes. I don't know why I did that in my head. Sound Shapes. Sound Shapes. I wonder if there's a warehouse. I'm RJ. Full of Let's VHSs. Get to it. Now I'm William Shatner. Let's get to it.